All right, guys, I'm going to straight razor shave for the first time with contacts on. There will be blood. Hang around and see if there will. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Contacts, straight razor. We're gonna see how this works. I know I tried it once with um, with glasses on and it's, you know, I'm like doing this and I'm hitting the glasses everywhere. So I, I'm gonna try it with contacts on. I'm not very good with contacts. Um, my eyes are super dry. Um, and so they don't tend to work for me very well. So when I wear them, I wear them for a couple of hours at a time to maybe four. I know you guys don't care, but I'm just prefacing this. Um, so we've got Barrister and Man Cool. This is the reserve base, obviously. Um, I've got the matching splash. Um, I'm just getting in from work. So um, I obviously have not showered since this morning. So I'm going to use pre-shave. The um, Lavender Bouquet by Grooming Department. The console, the beautiful mirror polish console is gonna be my weapon of the day. And my brush, my buddy, the super generous Steve Mendel got me this beautiful trotter. It shimmers so purdy. I love it. So I'm gonna use that for a brush today. Let me get rid of this water towel today Lancaster razor works and I'll be wiping my blade with TRC will be wiping my blade today so let's get going with the pre-shade so you get your face moist super oh sorry super duper bougie spa water because it's my new mister oh I forgot my Allen block, so you can see the shirt and tie that I'm wearing tomorrow. Beautiful, you like it? Okay, thanks. I've been in a habit of forgetting my Allen lately. I don't know why, I mean, I use it for grip every single time. But I guess I'm just getting old. All right, so you get your hands a little wet and your face a little wet and you just take a little pea size amount and i always get too much here i think that's probably a pea maybe it's a q but i think it's a pea yeah we're starting early with those all right so just get it on my face and you're supposed to massage it in for about a minute And I find that really does give you some protection. Um, gives you even more slickness. And so I like to get just a little extra water into it. Okay. And then just start rubbing. Yeah. I am going to get you to stay and watch. If you don't see it happen, it didn't happen, right? Happy Tuesday. Or whatever day you're watching this. Happy that day. It's a very good day for me at work today. Let me a little water here because I forgot. All right, and I think that's about a minute. Wash this off of my fingers and get a hold of this Allen block. This stuff is very slick. All right. 
reserve laven uh reserve cool <laughs> i almost said it well no i think i did say it reserve lavender it's not reserve lavender so let's get loading here This stuff will hold a ton of water and it really likes to have a ton of water in it too. Otherwise it goes on kind of thick and gloopy. Um, and if that's what hap what's happening to you, then you're definitely not adding enough water. So I think we've got enough loaded there. We'll add this on to what I already have. Give another little splash. All right. I am ready for this. I've been looking forward to this all day. Looking so forward to it that I put that right up my nose. All right, let's get this on here. I got a haircut just for you guys. Well, actually, if you saw the last video, that's when I got my haircut. Now you see the paste on there for any newer shavers. You gotta hydrate all of this. I mean, you've got this paste, but you don't wanna shave with that. You can't just put all the water on at once. You need to work it in in stages. So do this and just get that water incorporated into your lather. Can scrub or paint it in or whatever you like. I like to start out by scrubbing it in. I think it incorporates the water a little quicker and you're sure to be scrubbing all the way down to the bottom of this paste. Sorry for all you veterans if this is boring for you. But you know, we're really doing this for people that that don't know how to do this. You know, people that are looking to us for direction, for advice. So here we go. Just keep scrubbing this in. And then continue with the additions of water until you feel like it's fully hydrated. And I just give a couple sprays with the mister each time. I would do it with the misses, but they don't have any. They're all out. And just keep going until you're happy with it. For me, I like the lather to be as slick as possible, as wet as possible. So you're looking for a really good shine. You can see that, I mean, it still got little peaks on it. I want the peaks to fall over really quickly like a really loose whipped cream. That's Chantilly stage for any of you culinarians out there. Where it's like, you know, about pourable. And 
you see you can see I've gotten through the pace there because you can see my skim I mean this lather wants to fall off my face so I know it's got a ton of water in it and that's the kind of lather that I look for especially with a straight razor really thin and slick and that's exactly what I have here. All right. I've got a nice amount on me as well. So I know it's slick because I'm throwing it everywhere. The sloppy badger will be proud of me. All right, let's go at it. You know, honestly, I don't remember how many times I striped this before, uh, but we're probably going to find out. I usually like to go ahead and strop it up after I finish shaving. That way, you know, it's one extra thing that I don't have to do um, when I go to shave the next time. So we'll see how I did. like butter so far so I'm assuming that I did it right last time and then I just wiped the the blade off because I don't want to get uh, water into those scales the scales are this portion for anyone that doesn't know and you tend to accumulate water up in here by the pen um, which is this piece and then you end up getting rust on the tail here um, you know right at right at this pen so that's why I don't run water in it. And this console is made by Art Razors, which is Yuri Kravchenko um, out of Ukraine. He does awesome, awesome work. For anyone new to straight razor shaving, getting the trying to get the proper angle to your face, you're trying to get, or I am anyway, I'm trying to get about one spine width off of my face. And what does that mean? If this is straight up against my face, I want about a spine width off, and that's my angle. And I would try to maintain that angle throughout the shave. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. That's what I'm striving for. Then here, you know, you're trying to stretch the skin, but that doesn't have to mean pulling. I mean, you can do this and that will stretch that skin too. Um, you could also pull from down here. You could pull from up there, however you like. But I like to just kind of stretch and then, you know, kind of move. When you get the angle right, you're slicing the hairs. You know, slice them instead of scraping. If I were to put it like this and pull down, that would be scraping. Um, or if my angle is off, I could be scraping the hair off. Um, and I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to slice the hair off. It's a lot more comfortable and your blade's a lot more sharp that way. Under the nose, I mean, you have to scrape some. Um, I mean, you can go at different angles to get better. You don't want to go straight in like this and scrape. But you can see that the angle's going to be a little different right here. And then I've got a scar right here from a, a dog bite. So I try to stretch my nose sideways and stuff to tighten up that skin. And 
and there we go. You're nice and smooth. Now, get my butt chin. And we'll go to the other side. Just line up there. And then after that, I, I will pull there. Just try to keep that small angle. They say like 30 degrees. Um, I think it may be a little less than that if my inner protractor works correctly. I'm trying to get a small enough angle that I can wipe the hair off. You know, just slicing it, wiping the hair off. For any of you that are totally bored right now, I apologize. I think everyone can use a refresher every now and then, or just, you know, someone else's perspective on it. Maybe you don't see it the same way as I do, you know? Very nice. Straight razor shaving takes longer. You know, I mean, you could fly through it if you want to. This is what I do for my Zen time. I just, I enjoy doing this. It's a different way to shave. Um, it's certainly harder um, or more difficult to shave this way. Um, and I love it. I get a real sense of satisfaction of doing something more methodical like this sometimes. I mean, sometimes I want to just get in there and get the hair off. Um, and sometimes I want to spend more time. But a real sense of satisfaction from doing it this way. Even if I don't do a fantastic job, it doesn't matter. It's just the fact that I'm doing something that's been done since... You know, at the beginning of shaving, dragging a blade across your face. There's something neat about how that brings you, you know, that link to the past. Same thing with double edge razors and stuff, but I think this one to me, it's just a little more special. All right, nice first pass. We'll keep her going. Really nice barbershoppy scent off of this reserve cool. Wonderful brush too. Enough backbone, but really soft hairs. Fantastic trotter brush. And have quickly become one of my very favorites. A lot of fun to use. All right, let's go side to side. Get a little, little alum on my fingers.
Sorry, my kids are watching iPads, which I believe that you can hear. I apologize. I'm not saying that I have the best technique in the world, but I can get her done. Bless you. I've had a bunch of uh, quicker shaves lately and I'm not gonna shortchange you on this one. See how close that the spine of that blade is to my skin. Now, when I go up my neck, I just tend to go at some different angles, trying to get in there better because you can't so much go side to side on your neck. You can try. I don't recommend it. But if you can figure it out, you please let me know. All right, very nice second pass. I don't know if I'm going to go south to north or not today. We'll see. Great leather. Super slick. Low structure. It's exactly what I want. I can see where I'm shaving, but I've got plenty of slickness. The time on this one is gonna be like my old shaves. You're gonna feel like you've watched something. All right, let's keep it going. This is where I really like, you know, like a barber notch instead of a, a round point, you know, 
you got this point right here that you can get right up into you know into the spots and it's not rounded so i mean you can get right in there i think i just said that twice but you see here it's very precise Yeah, mom, is the spaghetti ready? Just Trying to be really deliberate in my shave today. Since we're doing, uh, you know, kind of instruction hour. guys to really see it all and check it out and you know how to skip ahead if you need to I have this little part right here and then the dimple too so end up having to get as much as I can there and then I finish that way by trying to flatten that area out with my tongue so just like that You can tell this is going to be a really nice shave. So then here, um, I mean, I've already kind of done this, these different angles, which I call J hooking. Um, so now I'm just going to try and kind of go in a V shape here um, to get this where it grows. Uh, this is uh, with the grain and this is across. So I'm just going to try and get that area a little better and just stretch. And just kind of try to drag at an angle. I don't recommend talking while you straight shave unless you need to. I hope you can hear that. I'm definitely getting against the grain there. And that really makes all the difference in the world for my shave. You may not be comfortable to go against the grain, um, and there's certainly no shame in that whatsoever. Okay, another good one down. I'm gonna get a full rinse here. All right, I'm gonna do just a, a touch of south to north, just to kind of show some of you technique if you don't already know that, but you know, I'm not trying to go completely BBS here. I'm just going to go a little better. I haven't shaved with a straight razor very much lately. And I don't want to just wear my skin out, so... And I certainly could have... Um, loaded up a little more here i wasn't sure how much i was going to shave but anyway you know it doesn't need to be thick it just needs to be slick oh that's a good one i have to remember that all right Alum block on the fingers one more time. And I'm just going to do some here. So I just kind of straighten out the razor here and hold like this. No pressure. Just wipe that lather off. Yeah, 
you have a super sharp blade in your hand. There's no need to use any pressure. Or you'll be applying pressure to your cut to have it stop bleeding. And that's good enough for me there. This again. Do the same thing here, change hands. Once again, I'm not the best I don't claim to be the best straight razors, razor shaver in the world, but um, I do it well enough that I can enjoy a shave, and that's uh, that's perfectly fine with me. If I shave with it more, I'm sure it would get a lot better. But I got so many things to shave with right there. How can I just use straight razors for a while? Put just a touch of water here and I'll just shave down one more time just to make sure I didn't miss anything and we'll call it good for the day I think I'm in good shape here. Let me just kind of wipe my face down and see what I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a great shave. Fantastic. Terrific. my Lancaster towel. Good job. You know what? I'm going to use that Lancaster towel. You just hang on. There. And just get me extra cleaned off. I can't take a picture of the towel and not use it. Come on. Been dropping some weight. My neck's looking skinny. It's about time. All right. This is witch hazel and alcohol in this. It's very nice. Doesn't usually provide any burn or anything. But I think the alcohol helps it dry more quickly, which is great by me. Mm, overshaved a little bit in this area, but. Nothing crazy. I might be crazy, but the shave wasn't crazy. Mm. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Nice little menthol feel there with the cooling of the um, alcohol. Really nice stuff. And uh, I think I'll go with Sago unsend it today give her a couple o pumps really great aftershave balm 
I'll put it right here for, you know, if I have crow's feet. I, I don't think I do. No, I don't. No crow's feet for me. All right. And I'm not going to add a scent. It's going to be bedtime before long. And I'm not going to waste a scent to just wear it for a couple hours. I, sometimes I will, but not today. So thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that if any any new um, straight razor shavers or people that are interested in it, I hope that you got something out of this. Um, if you did, please leave me some comments. Just say, you know, learn something or, you know, whatever you like. Um, for those that already straight razor shave, I hope I didn't bore you to death. Uh, if you have any tips for me, please add them in. And if you learned anything, please let me know what it was. So thank you. Have a fantastic week. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.